Hey y'all, it's Jessica from Sloppy Swatches. Today I have a quick look at the Sunday Fun Day collection available right now from Colores de Carol. These were sent to me for review and I'll link her storefront and social media down below. This collection consists of six curly polishes as well as a glitter topper and I'll just get right on into it. So first up is Cotton Candy Dip, and this is described as a pink curly base with micro iridescent glitter, micro white glitter, a mix of red, pink, and blue glitter, as well as shreds and bar glitters. Now I know that when most people hear bar glitter, they are just completely not about it, but this really does look like sprinkles on the nail, and they do lay nice and flush. So here's a look at that brush shot, and I'll show you how Cotton Candy Dip swatched on my natural nail. Here is the first coat. These polishes do have a bit of a thicker formula. It is a pretty classic curly. When coat made for a nice mix of glitters and pretty good coverage. I'll let that dry and come back in and show you what my second coat looks like. So here for this second coat, I did go in for a little bit of a thicker coat. I had no problem getting a good array of those glitters and nice and spread out on the nail without having to manipulate them too much. This one really was right on the edge of being opaque for me at two coats, so I'm going to go ahead and let this dry and show you what my third coat looks like. I think that's pretty typical for all of the polishes in this collection. It's going to really depend on your application if they cover in two or three coats. A quick third coat for sure brings this one completely opaque. So here's a look at that completed mani. Before top coat, some of those larger glitters are going to bump up a little bit and make some texture, but one coat of your favorite top coat will help smooth that right out. This is my swatch photo underneath artificial lighting, and then once more at an angle underneath artificial lighting. So next up is Mango Taffy, and this is described as a light orangey peach curly base with a mix of fun glitter, including white mini stars. So here you get a lot of the same glitters. You get some hexagon reds, all different shades, as well as some black matte shreds. I'll go ahead and show you that brush shot, and I'll show you how Mango Taffy swatched on my natural nail. So here is my first coat. I did go in for a bit of a thicker first coat here, but it does make for a nice smooth base. You can see there I got a ton of glitter on my nail without having to work too hard, without having to shake the bottle or anything like that. These are just very nicely suspended in this mix. Here's a look at that second coat. Again, a little bit thicker here. If you wanted to, you could absolutely go thinner. You may need three coats if you do thin coats, but here I feel like this is complete coverage in just two. So here's a look at that completed mini. Before top coat, again, you do get some of that same texture with those larger glitters, but a good top coat will help smooth those right out. This is my swatch photo underneath artificial lighting. And then once more at an angle underneath that artificial lighting. So next up is Clown Shoes, and I absolutely love the name of this one. It's described as a pastel yellow curly base with a mix of fun glitter. So you do get a lot of those same glitters. This collection is beautifully cohesive when offering completely different looks with each polish. So here's a look at that brush shot, and I'll show you how Clown Shoes swatched on my natural nail. So here is the first coat. I am going in a little thick here. This is a Crelly, so it is a bit on the thicker side to begin with. One coat makes for pretty even coverage with a nice mix of those glitters. I'll let that dry and come back in and show you what my second coat looks like. Because I know this is a yellow and they can be a little bit troublesome to get completely opaque, I did go in thicker here with my second coat. This made for amazing coverage, but it is just shy of being opaque, so I'll let that dry and come back in for my third and final coat. This quick third coat for sure brings this one completely opaque and does add nice depth to all those glitters. So here's a look at that completed mini. Before top coat, again, you do get some of that same texture. This is my swatch photo underneath artificial lighting. And then once more at an angle under that artificial lighting. So next up is Ferris Will, and this is described as a light green curly mix with a mix of neon and metallic glitters. So this one is a very soft key lime color. No bar glitter in this one at all. I'll go ahead and show you a brush shot, and I'll show you how Ferris Will swatched on my natural nail. This is a very soft, kind of delicate green, so it did go on a little bit thinner. I did get, however, a nice mix of glitters here in this first coat. I'll let this dry and then come back in and show you what the second looks like. So here's a look at that second coat. I did opt to go in, again, a little bit thicker here. If you do thinner coats, you may end up needing a little bit more. So here is that second coat. I still had a good flash of nail line, so I'll let that dry and come back in and show you what my third coat looks like. Again, a nice thick third coat here, but this does bring this one right to the edge of being opaque. I got a ton of glitters, so I did have to spread them out just a little bit, but no problems at all. So here's a look at that completed mani before top coat.
This is my swatch photo underneath artificial lighting. And then once more at an angle under that artificial lighting. So next up is Funfair, and this is described as a light blue curly base with a mix of white, turquoise, and neon glitters, as well as some hollow glitters. This is one of my top picks of the collection. I'll go ahead and show you that brush shot, and I'll show you how Funfair swatched on my natural nail. So here is the first easy coat. I did find that this polish was a little bit thinner than the others, so I had some settling. So with this first coat, I got some of the smaller, more delicate glitters, but none of the larger ones, and I didn't actually turn my bottle upside down for application here. So I'm just gonna show you how it applied for me without shaking it. Here's a look at that second coat. I did go in for a nice, a thicker second coat. Again, I picked up some of these smaller glitters, but it did push this one right over the edge of being opaque in just two coats. So here's a look at that completed mini at two coats before top coat. This one did dry down a little bit more glossy due to having fewer of those larger glitters on the nail. This is my swatch photo underneath artificial lighting and then once more at an angle again under that artificial lighting. So the last curly of this collection is Toss My Rings, and this is described as a pastel purple curly base with a micro iridescent glitter and a mix of a neon dot glitters. This is my number one top pick of this collection. It's just so juicy and it looks like a popsicle and I got a ton of glitters. So here's a look at that brush shot and I'll show you how Toss My Rings swatched on my natural nail. So here is this first coat. This one is a little bit thicker and I did get a ton of those glitters so I did have to work them a little bit, but the coverage on this one is is just insane. So I'll let that dry and come back in and show you what my second coat looks like. This second coat does add even more of those glitters and really kind of levels out the first layer. It does add a nice level of depth. So I did have a little flash of nail line. I think that's more my application. So I am going to go ahead and let you see what my third and final coat looks like. This third coat for sure brings this one completely opaque. Again, adds some depth and some more opacity. So here's a look at that completed mani. I had three coats before top coat so this one does have a good amount of texture you may need to go in for two coats of top coat with this one totally worth it in my opinion this is my swatch photo underneath artificial lighting and then once more at an angle again under that artificial lighting so lastly today I have a rainbow snow cone and this is the glitter topper. I've shown it today over black. This is described as a holographic base with a matte and metallic pastel and a rainbow glitters spread throughout. This one is completely loaded with glitters and that holographic effect is super, super strong. So I'll go ahead and show you that brush shot and I'll show you how rainbow snow cone swatched over one coat of Tux Polish's Onyx. So I'm just going to go in with a nice kind of a heavier coat. I did get a nice mix of those glitters. I did have to pay a little bit of attention to making sure they were nice and spread out on the nail. But at one coat, this makes an amazing effect. Here's a look at that completed mini. Before top coat, this one does dry down fairly flush and nice and glossy. It may dull a little bit as it dries, so a good top coat will help bring out all that holographic effect. This is my swatch photo underneath artificial lighting. And then once more at an angle under that artificial lighting. This one is to be even more intense in direct sunlight. So that does wrap up my swatch and review of the Sunday Funday collection. Again, these are available right now. They will each retail for $10 or you can buy the entire collection for $64. If you'd like to see more photos, I do have those available on my blog at sloppyswatches.com or you can follow me on Instagram at sloppyswatches. So thanks so much for watching guys. See you next time.